This is Boomer Life on CL 650. And welcome back to Boomer Life. We're speaking with the sleep experts uh, from Sleep Shop. Uh, the original sleep expert is uh, Haji Manji, the, the founder and president, and his son, Farouk. Um, so uh, we talked a little bit before about how everything's come full circle. Back in 79, when Sleep Shop opened with one store in Richmond, uh, things were simpler back then, and we're seeing a return to some more natural and simpler fibers. So is that the big trend, Farouk, in, in the mattress industry, is, is uh, people want natural? And yeah. people want organic this, and they want everything, you know, they want to ride their bike to work instead of drive their car? Well, I think it's, um, it's a testament to what people are more conscious about and what they're using in their house. So with the mattresses, in particular, especially with the memory foam craze, they're, I mean, they're still very popular. They're still around. But as people are doing more and more research, we're finding people come into the stores asking a lot of very technical questions. Um, they, are, um, they are more aware about what they're sleeping on. And so as people are becoming more aware, the latex story, the natural fiber use in mattresses is becoming more and more prominent. You're seeing a lot of the manufacturers starting to use the natural products or elements of natural products in the mattresses. And you've got a lot of suppliers that are fully dedicated to just creating and developing and manufacturing mattresses that are made with all natural and organic materials. Now, to your dad for a second here, um, how has it changed when I, we'll get back to that in a moment, but we, we touched on the customer has a lot of knowledge now. So how did the internet change your sa- your sell your sailing sorry how did the internet change the way you would sell to people because o- often now people come in with a lot of information where in the old days they counted on you to give them the information you were the communication to the mattress industry so uh, have you noticed a big change with the advent of the internet oh absolutely because like during my days like when uh, we used to sell it was just like you put an ad in the paper, people saw your ad and they used to come to you and then you, they would leave it to you to, to guide them to what kind of mattress to buy. Mm-hmm. Today when the customers are coming, I mean, they've done so much research. In fact, sometimes I find like a, the questions the customers are asking, even, I don't even have the answer. Like I've been in this industry for so many years. So internet has really has changed because there's so much research one can do on internet to about the different different products, whether it be latex, memory foam, whatever the case may be. You know that so, brings me back to my point because with the memory foam, uh, sorry, the the latex foam, the natural elements, that's how I found your shop, and I always bring it up because I was looking. I had I did the mistake that Farouk mentioned. I bought a mattress that was too firm. And it was killing my back. And I, we had it for a few years. I said to my wife, I, this has got to go. i got to get rid of this mattress. So I started on the internet looking for, you know, comfortable beds and what people were, what the new trends were. And latex kept coming up. And I was thinking, latex, a rubber bed? Like, how does that work? <laughs> and I started doing more research in it. And then I started searching for who carried these beds. And your shop came up. And Farouk and I didn't even put it together until, I think, the first day. I said, where is your store on Broadway? <laughs> It's just west of Oak. I said, that's where I bought my bed. <laughs> and I bought a Natura bed from you. And that's so coming eight years now, I think. Have a great night's sleep on it every night. So I went the latex route. Um, I guess um, that's now the new trend. But you have, you have another partner that you've just started with, right, that, that does this. Yes, yeah, so we've just launched a Canadian manufacturer, uh, actually a family business that are based out of Edmonton. And they are creating a mattress called Sprout. And the Sprout mattress is really hinged on using everything natural. I mean, to the point where they say that you could literally eat everything in there because Mm. it is just all organic. So they're using organic... I challenge them to do that. (laughs) (laughs) We do too, but we get the point though. uh, So they're using everything from all certified uh, organic latex, all certified organic wool, their cotton fabric they use on top is all natural. Uh, there's no fillers. They don't use any petroleum-based foam. Um, and then quilted on top, as we know, a lot of manufacturers use different types of synthetic fibers to create the little loft and the quilt. Um, they're using pure silk and pure wool and pure cotton um, 
different layers on top to uh, create the just that little added barrier on top. So with the the typical foam that you started selling years ago, are people worried about the off-gassing, the gases that come off because it's a petroleum product? And mm-hmm. uh, I, I always explain to people, you know, when you get into a car and there's the film on the inside of the window that you can clean and it never seems to come off? Well, that's actually the off-gassing from the plastics in your car. So it is a real thing. And people are aware of this, right? So that's where the latex comes in because it's natural. Exactly. So all petroleum-based types of foam... Uh, and there's even there are some companies that will claim that their memory foam is natural, which is absolutely not true. They're, the the type of chemicals that are used in there they could be mixed with some natural elements like soy base or uh, things like that, but they will always off gas and will continue to off gas for for years and years. Latex is different because it's made from the sap from the rubber tree, and that sap is poured into a barrel and it's cured and it's brought all together. It's baked similarly like a cake and there's no chemicals that are added to that. So there is no off-gassing with it. But there are two different types of, of latex rubber. Can you explain the difference? Yeah, there's Talalay latex and then there's Dunlop latex. And really the main difference is the process, how the latex is cured and manufactured. The Dunlop latex will produce a generally a firmer feeling uh, latex, whereas the Talalay is a more consistent pour and their latex, they can actually dictate, you know, how soft or how hard uh, they want. So the they latex. can change the, the the density of the. That's foam. right. And Sprout uses the Talalay process, which is uh, we feel, anyways, in our opinion, that it is one of the more superior types of latexes that is available because it uh, develops a more consistent pour and a consistent feel. The nice thing with the Sprout line is that we've got mattresses from them that can cater to all needs, all body shapes, all body weights, all body heights. Um, The feel of their mattresses differ. And we've got a really, they have developed a very interesting, and it's going to be difficult to explain this on on air. You'd have to see this. But especially in a king size, they've got a new technology called Zip and Link. Mm -hmm. where you can buy, uh, one person can buy a firm mattress, one person can buy a soft mattress, and by zipping the center of the mattress together, you don't have any gaps. So that's basically, well, you see that with the box spring of a king. It's basically two twin beds together. Mm -hmm. And so you can link that with the mattress. That's right. Right. And these mattresses, the other uh, really interesting part is they're flippable. Mm. So today you'll see 90% of mattresses in mattress stores, you can't flip them. So that may may or may not be a bad thing, but Sprout has gone back to the old traditional methodology of manufacturing. They're hand tufting the mattress by hand. Everything is made by hand craftsmen, and these mattresses can be flipped. So you can flip them whenever you want. Uh, that's Farouk Manji from Sleep Shop. Their 37th uh, anniversary is on now, and his father uh, Haji is joining us in studio as well. So. That sounds to me with the handmade latex, that's a premium product. Are you seeing latex uh, coming down in price as the years? Like uh, any new technology is expensive, but as it, it goes along, usually it comes down in price. Are you seeing that with latex beds? With some of them. I mean, to, to have a proper all-natural story, you need elements that are all-natural. That's, that's and, where the expense comes in. Exactly. But you have hybrids where you take the latex and put them in a conventional uh, coiled mattress, right? That's right, yeah. So you can take the, and that's what some of the manufacturers are doing to ke- keep the price down, keep it affordable. So we do offer a range of mattresses that'll have elements of the natural materials in them that are that are in that kind of more affordable price range right up to the premium product like Sprout. Now, um, when you started in 1979, were there more local manufacturers of mattresses or are there more today? Uh, and the reason I bring this up is because as a privately owned, uh, a family owned uh, business, a sleep shop, you must have relationships with the factories to get some some special things once in a while. So was that the case back in 1979 or is it better today? In uh, 1979, like, you know, there were just like three major brands, which were like C.D. Simmons and Sarta. Like, I mean, that was the brand that you, that you, uh, they were the, 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 Majority of time, most of the time, everybody bought from. Yeah. 
Today you find, I guess, there are so many different uh, different manufacturers springing out in their different different areas, making different kind of uh, uh, mattresses. So you have this Sprout, which is a boutique, I'm guessing, mattress maker in Edmonton, but you have access to local um, manufacturers of beds too, right? Yes, absolutely. So in Vancouver alone, there's uh, at least eight to ten different uh, mattress manufacturers. I, I would bet you most people don't even know there's one, Yeah, but there's eight. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah eight to ten at least, and... Uh, one of them is a manufacturer that also makes the natural latex mattress called uh, Nature's Embrace. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're local. They've been around for over 20 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are actually, we still buy futons from them. They mm-hmm. still make their, their futons. Is that still the mattress. college student uh, mattress of choice, the futon? <laughs> no, like for futons, I would come also too. Like, I mean, futons also have made a lot of uh, uh, progress in right. food. Like today, there's so many different uh, kinds kinds of futons. It's not just like buying a, a like six inch futon with old cotton. And that like used to be a, that uh, what people used to classify as a hippie mattress. Yeah. But it's no longer that anymore. Like its futons are very comfortable too also. Yeah, I had one of those too back in the college days. <laughs> yes. That's all you could afford. Yeah, well, they were less expensive. I'm sure they've changed now. Uh, all right. So um, with the local manufacturers and even with uh, Sprout up in Edmonton, you can get some custom orders, right? Yes, and that's the one of the advantages of Sleep Shop is that we can customize any mattress of any size, any thickness, uh, any configuration. And really, if you want us to develop and create a mattress from bottom up, we can help do that as well. And is that common that people, I guess you have two different types of sleepers. That's where the zip together approach, that solves a lot of the trouble, doesn't it? It does, absolutely. So, I mean, there's there's a variety of different needs. Uh, people will bring their beds from, you know, wherever they originally came from, whether it's Europe or Asia. So those sizes will be a little bit different and uh, we can custom make the mattress there. For RVs and campers, uh, mm. people who may still have their old waterbed frames, which are slightly longer than the traditional size, we can make a mattress for that as well. Well, continue our conversation. We're talking with um, Haji Manji, the founder and president of Sleep Shop back in 1979. They're having their 37th anniversary on right now. Farouk Manji is his son and our resident sleep expert. We'll find out more next on CL 650. Celebrating the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life on CL 650.